Well, the Queensland Health Minister, Yvette Darth, has been left red-faced after revelations a text message intended for the Defence Minister, Peter Dutton, was sent to the wrong number. The blunder was in regards to reports ADF troops had been left stranded in Dubai as quarantine exemption negotiations were stalled. Our Sky News Queensland editor, Peter Gleeson, broke the story this morning. He joins us live. Peter, we are standing by to hear shortly from the Queensland Premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk, we know that there is so much argy-bargy between the federal government at the moment and mm. the Queensland government. Your story today has only intensified that. We heard the state government claiming the story was really just an attempt to drive attention away from the vaccine rollout. Mm. Good afternoon, Ash. Yes. Look, it's been a pretty interesting uh, morning, I must say. Uh, the reality is that when the Health Minister of Queensland, Yvette Dath, can't even get the number right of the Federal Defence Minister. You've got to wonder what the bloody hell is going on in Queensland Health and what the hell is going on in the Palaszczuk government. It doesn't inspire confidence. And, of course, they've tried to divert uh, away or the problems uh, uh, in relation to hotel quarantine to the Federal Government on many, many occasions. They've, of course, blamed them for the vaccination rollout. Um, whenever there's a problem here in Queensland, Ash, they uh, tend to just point the finger at Canberra and blame Canberra. It's a good old trick. It's a trick that was pioneered by Sir Joe Bielke-Peterson back in the 70s and 80s. But I think, uh, I think uh, the people of Queensland are starting to wake up to the shambolic way in which uh, Queensland Health are administering this hotel um, quarantine protocols, particularly if you think about what happened last week when, you know, with breathtaking hypocrisy, they were able to allow that plane load full of wives and girlfriends to come into uh, Queensland. And, of course, uh, there was uh, a big hullabaloo about that. And now we have this situation with the Defence Force personnel. Um, they are in Dubai. They were stranded in Dubai. That's the reality. They were stranded in Dubai.